the Trump protest, the largest one, I got released right into it. And I'm walking to just get to the police station to get my stuff. And I just keep hearing, isn't that the black girl? Isn't that the black girl? I'm walking for two and a half hours. I don't know where I am. I don't know where this police station is. I have to pick and choose who I can ask for help or directions. I finally get to the police station. The police station is on lockdown because of what happened at the Capitol. Right. I didn't even know what happened at the Capitol. Right. So I can't get my stuff. I go to work. And when I get to work, they're like, nah, you, you can't come. You, you can't get your stuff. You can't come. You won't have to have a police escort if you want to come get your, your purse, your car. My car was still there, my purse. So I had to wait till the next day to go to the police station and get my phones, my car keys, and get an escort and finally got my car. And that's when I finally seen everything that happened on social media. Right. So you wasn't even aware how big it got on social media? No. I The police officer that escorted me out into the Trump crowd once I got released, he just kept looking and he was like, oh, it is you. It is you. And I didn't know what he was talking about. So I'm like, what? He like, it is you. It's the cornrows for me. You know, I guess a lot of people talk like that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? He like, you know, you on video. I said, well, that's what the detective said when he locked me up. He was like, no, you're viral. I was like, no, I'm not. And then he tried <laughs> to show me. And I just seen her face. And I was like, I didn't do that. I, didn't, I really didn't think I hit her that hard. Like, I, Oh, you blocked um, Denise. I, when I seen <laughs> after, it was like a small cut. So I didn't know. So when I seen it, like, it scared me because I'm like, this is my bad arm, first of all. And right. like, I don't even fight it just to see that. Right. I, do it, I was shocked. I was like, uh-uh, that's Photoshop. I didn't do this. Right. So I didn't really, until I got probably, no, the day I got out of jail, I finally, I got released around 2 o'clock. I didn't get picked up a ride home until about 7, 30, 8 o'clock. I was pretty much on the street just trying to find my way and trying to use the phone to call a ride. So that's when I finally got a ride and I got on social media and seen everything. Then I found out that people were posting fake cash apps on Twitter. I never really yeah. used Twitter. That was so I had to log on to Twitter and that's when I found out about Helena, her daughter exposing her. So I tried to get in contact with her and then it's like, it was just so much going on. Everybody was tagging me on stuff. My pages turned public automatically because it was so much traction coming in. My Facebook, not my Instagram, but my Facebook turned mm. public before I could even, before I even got out of jail. So a lot of right. reporters are trying to use, dig up old stuff. And, right, and use it against you. Yeah, so it was just crazy. And then I had to delete everything off of Instagram, change my name, because mm -hmm. Booty Pop. Because they was going to use all that against you. Yeah, Booty Pop. seemed like you just some ignorant <laughs> Everybody like, what is a booty pop? I didn't. I don't have a backside, you guys. I'm sorry. I get teased a lot in school, so it helped me deal with my insecurity about right. not having a backside and not having the body that I thought I was supposed to have because that's what everybody wanted. Until I learned how to love myself, but by then, right. the name just was already sticking with me. So right, <laughs> booty pop it was, but now I, it's a song to you guys. Nice, to you. <laughs> not the black girl, not booty pop, but hey. <laughs> so, so what's going on at your job um you said what what's going on at your job now nothing i haven't heard from them except for the day that they called me they called me this incident happened on tuesday they called me friday to tell me that i was suspended pending investigation without pay and <laughs> that i couldn't come to none of the properties i was banned from all the properties until they investigated and i haven't heard nothing from them at all since then and it's been you know almost what Two and a half, almost yeah, three, months. three, more than three weeks. So I have no idea. Oh, yeah, it's been, yeah, it's not months, it's weeks, it surely is. It just happened. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I do find out anything, I'm sure to keep everybody updated. I told you at first I couldn't, I was told I really couldn't go on social media, post stuff. So, you know, now that I've had control, I got control back of my social media, I'm going to be going live more. I'm going to be. You know, telling people what I'm trying to do moving forward. Like I told you, I want to pay for some females to get their gun license and um, gun license carry to carry or whatever, and self defense. So right, then start the domestic violence thing with the battered, um, the prior center for battered women and children. So right after that, yeah. which is amazing. I can't. I don't see any comments. The comments still. Oh, they, they 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 talking about your makeup. I see a lot of people talking about your makeup. You beautiful. Your makeup is oh, flawless. Thank you. you. 
it's a whole lot of them, girl. I can't see no comments. I only see what it what it said um, before you added me. Oh no! But my live is about to end in ten seconds. Oh no! I just seen it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a call a little bit later. Okay. I appreciate you for joining. Love you. Of course. Love you.